Greetings and welcome to this brand new jailbreak update. Guys, we have some good news, a new hope for a possible iOS 17.4.1 and lower jailbreak for all of your devices. So first of all, make sure that you stay low below iOS 17.5 like iOS 17.4.1 and lower on all your devices. So now if you check out the security content of iOS 17.5 you can see that it fixed some bugs which may lead to a possible jailbreak in the future. So we have these two. First of all we have this one which is from Patron F but in this video we will only focus on this one which we may have a POC or proof of concept released or very very soon which reads Apple AVD and you can see this CVE right here and you can see this post by Mason Ferrozzi you can see the CVE here that he will publish the POC soon for this bug which was patched in iOS 17.5 which may lead to a jailbreak in the future. Now guys, we will point towards the reliable source of information that a POC is a proof of concept. So it is the first stepping stone to get towards a possible jailbreak. So guys, once it is developed, you may get trolls to installation on iOS 16.7 RC or iOS 17.0 for all your ARM 64E devices and you will get a semi untethered jailbreak for all your ARM64 devices up to iOS 17.4.1 and lower. Now the problem is that for all your ARM64 e devices you will need a PPL bypass like for A12 to A14, M1 and M2 and you will also need an SPTM bypass for A15 to A17 and all your m4 devices which means that it may take some time for arm 64 e devices now guys the best approach is to roll back to ios 17.4.1 as it is being signed at the time of making this video so it is easy you can simply get to ipsw.me then simply select your device from there and then get the ipsw for iOS 17.4.1. Now simply open iTunes and connect your iOS device via USB and first of all make sure that you back it up first then press and hold the shift key on Windows and options key on Mac and then left click the restore button and then simply select the IPSW you just caught and hit open and then hit the restore button and after that you can restore backup and the second thing you can do is to use blob saver to save your blobs for iOS 17.4.1 I will link a proper guide in the description for that it is available for Windows Mac and Linux it is easy to use you will just open it and hit read from device and then simply hit go and you can see your blobs are now saved in the path you selected do the same for your iOS 16 devices as well on iOS 16.7.8 so that you can save your blobs for iOS 16.7.7 as well while these versions are still signed that's all for this jailbreak update I will share more information once we have it I will see you in a new video goodbye and take care